Tonight, a Spokane Valley mother is outraged that the hit-and-run driver who allegedly ran over her son wasn't even supposed to be driving. 22-year-old Ty Chapman was critically injured Sunday when he was mowed down by a Chevy Blazer at Mission Herald just a few blocks from his home. KXY 4's Jeff Humphrey joins us now. Jeff, the suspect has a history of drunk driving. Dave, Greg Sutton already has two DUI convictions and may have been trying to avoid a third when he allegedly drove away from this collision with a pedestrian. To make matters worse, the mother of this young victim lost her fiancé to a drunk driver just last year. It's our first look at hit-and-run victim Ty Chapman. The 22-year-old recently moved to Spokane to help raise his little brother, Travis. That's because Travis's father was killed by a drunk driver in California. Sunday night, Chapman was walking along Mission Avenue with a friend when a Chevy Blazer veered across the fog line and ran into Chapman. The vehicle came up from behind and struck um, Mr. Chapman from behind and then continued eastbound down Mission. Chapman's friend gave police a description of the car and deputies found it parked in front of this home just eight blocks away. We collected the evidence after measuring the scene. I took those pieces of vehicle that were left behind at the scene and compared them to the vehicle that we located and they fit precisely. Deputies then arrested Gregory Sutton. He denies driving on that part of Mission that night, saying he took a different route home so he could buy some cigarettes at this convenience store. Sutton is a convicted drug dealer, and as a condition of his release from prison, he's not allowed to drink alcohol or drive without a license. Investigators say he was doing both that night that Chapman sustained his severe brain injuries, violations of Sutton's parole that makes the victim's mother even more upset about what's happened to her son. This gentleman uh, clearly was not supposed to be driving, clearly is not insured. If he's suspended, he does not have insurance. And we in law enforcement in this community, we have a huge problem with suspended drivers and uninsured drivers. And suspended drivers can do more than cause tragedies like this one. Every time they get behind the wheel, they drive up the price of insurance coverage, and that cost is passed on to the rest of us in the form of higher premiums. Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.